Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Garatanager, and I am playing some Mass Effect 3. Now, I turned down some of the settings on, or well, turned up some of the brightness settings to make it a little bit brighter, because this my PlayStation tends to run dark on the recording, but not while I'm playing, so... Hopefully this helps. Let's go see Udina. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. This is not the way to see Udina. This is the way to see Udina. There should be a Thane around here. Maybe it's later that I see a Thane. It's probably later. Welcome, Commander okay. Shepard. To moment, the embassies. Please. This is going to go swimmingly. And by swimmingly, I mean no, it's not. We know it's not. There's no way. Everything's going to go to hell in a handbasket. It always goes to hell in a handbasket, especially if Udina's involved. It's the Citadel. It's so much brighter now. Holy crap. It's not going to be, it's going to be good brightness for you guys, but it is a little bright for me because of the TV that I'm playing it on. But, whatever. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Now arriving at people. Do -do 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 -do. Here, he's this way. If I remember correctly, I think he's this way and to the, uh, this way. Udina! Commander, Sup? Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. Why does the human if counselor have me, an Asari assistant? already in session. Why does a human counselor have an Asari assistant? It seems kinda suspect. We've got our own problems, counselor. Earth is not in this alone. But Maybe Earth, we are. the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. And your reports! Oh, Liara. <laughs> the reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. I told you so, bitch! <laughs> and it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Which is nothing! Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Uh, don't, don't go to Earth yet, just make the Crucible. Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Do it, Liara! Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? A gigantic We're still weapon! piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. Yep, this thing is bigger than no. the Citadel. <laughs> I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggested it is very feasible to build. Except gigantic! If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. And got destroyed! Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? I believe in trying! Liara believes it can work, and so do I. Holy bejeez! And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. Sorry about that, that was my cell phone. Somebody gave me a fo phone call. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. I'm going to yell at my mother. That was my mom calling me! The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider... I'm going to have to cons... I'm sorry, Commander. God damn it. That is the best we can do. So fix our problems and we'll help. Shepard, meet me in my office. For fuck's sake. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Good! You better. I kinda need the help and stuff. Zoom, 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 zoom
More cutscenes! You're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. Are you channeling Anderson? We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Hello! Counselor? The dream Commander, counselor. How you doing? I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. Good, Unless somebody's you... helping. Primarch Fedorian called the war summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. I don't see how this helps. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? Yup! That's if the whole game! What, you need, what does it matter? God damn it. <sighs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. There's something in my eye. It's bad. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. Cool! And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well... That went well. As well as it can be start. expected. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Well, bye, Udina. Okay, I'm gonna be right back, guys. Don't you love parents? I got it taken care of. But I might have, uh, smacked my head into a drawer on my way back. <laughs> to recording and now my head hurts. <laughs> okay, how you doing, James? Owie head. Hey, Commander. Ow, we are I hit it the right council's here. not interested in helping us. Nope, not Something really. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it, but they don't really believe it. They will. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. <laughs> no shit. For debate. Yep. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Good. Besides, so you're saying, like right? Hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help pendejo. us. Pendejo. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. Good. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Sure. Why not? Well, we've got something much, 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 much more important to do. We're gonna go to Palavin. We're gonna go to Palavin. We're gonna go to Palavin. There's a very, very good reason why I'm excited about this, guys. Except for the fact my head hurts. <laughs> I've got a bump right here. Ow. I went to the bathroom and I stood up and I smacked it into an open- into a drawer that had swung open. Ah! Good thing I have a really thick skull. Wait, that's not really a good thing. Well, it is a good thing, but... Physically, it's a good thing. Mentally, not so much. Okay. Now arriving at Docking Bay We're gonna go to Palavin. We're gonna go to the Turian home world. Okay. I was looking to see if there's anybody I knew. You never know who you'll find on the Citadel. Yes. Return to the Normandy that has been given a much better paint job than its Cerberus tattoos. Okay, now can we actually talk to the team? Run around the Normandy or do we- God damn it, Mom! Okay, my phone is now on silent. <laughs> do do do. Hey, 
Hey, look, it's the armor I'm building. It's a kid! Time for Shepard to have a bad dream. A.K.A. me. Get back here, kid! Come here! I know I failed to save you and all, and you're kind of all of the dead, but... It's not my fault? You're the one who wouldn't come with me! So it's kind of your fault. Dumbass, kid. And now you're a dead kid. Now get back here. So slow. Wait. Where'd the kid go? Oh, there's the kid. Come here. I wish you could run a little bit faster during these scenes. <laughs> I get why they did what they did, but still. So Shep Shep had a bad dream, aka I had a bad dream, and guess who's gonna come talk to us? Same person who always will. Hi Liara, how you doing? Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. Great! I know. Are you alright? I've been better. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Everyone back on Earth. When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. Billions and billions. There's like, no way for you to save them all. I think the population of Earth... you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. It was like over right. 11 billion. That's a lot of people. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh! I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I love Specialist Trainer. She's kind leaving. of awesome. She blows Kelly Chambers out of the water! Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. Okay. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. It's okay. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. You'll be Thank fine, you. honey buns. I worked in a lab. My head still hurts. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Owie. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. That still in keep fact, bugging out. Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Now it's my yes, mobile command center. I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, oh. I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. Sure, let's keep her one up. She remain. I would prefer. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait. Since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Yeah, about that. 80s and AI. Fully self-aware. <laughs> He's like, yeah, about that. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. <laughs> oh, Edie, I Thanks, love your face. Edie, and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. <laughs> anyway, shall I give you a tour? <laughs> I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. Just like before. Oh, my. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. I got a nice bump on it. <laughs> the War Room houses a strategic command center for mission specific intel and war analysis. Okay. Armory! The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. 
I think she's claimed that room. <laughs> you think? You Still the same ship as before. It just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Okay. She's a nice people. I like Samantha. She's awesome. Oh, sup? Commander. Hi, Dan. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. Yep. <laughs> we did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? To go to Paladin! I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. Because That's fuck the Council! Like this is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. We'll get then it. build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. Yeah. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. Aye, aye, I'm keep old. hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. And Earth? What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. So then be strong. Happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Okay. Let's do the thing! Who the hell are you? Who are you? I cannot talk to you. You are unimportant! Okay, the funny thing about all this... I can't believe the council won't help. Every time we have to go through this little loading thing. This is the only thing that makes me mad about the Normandy. Like, why do we need this on the ship? Okay, let's go say hi to our favorite pilot. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. I'll do it later. <laughs> Takes effort. Poof. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. Joker! But after years Love of your ignoring face. your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Do they at least validate our parking? Yeah. Maybe. Well, let me know <laughs> if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for all time. For all time's sake. sake. <laughs> I never hung up on them, though. Commander. But I never hung up on them. I be that way. I'm gonna go talk to James. You know, the guy who actually kind of respects me. Your private terminal. What? Email. Okay. Cerberus Lab. My reinstatement. By assuming the command. <laughs> Let's just make this official that you're assuming the command of the Normandy SR2. Let's just do the thing. Okay, Galaxy Battle Alert for all human choice. Sweet Admiral Hackers declare the threat condition Saber 1. Enemy present confirmed the soul system. <laughs> Earth under Reaper attack. Well, okay then. Bitcoin fleet. Where's the coin fleet? The Koreans have vanished! No, Tully! My sister! Uh, got an upgrade waiting. Oh, we gotta go to Eden Prime. We're gonna go to Palavin first, though. Because Palavin. Um. Crew deck. Also, I don't have any fish yet. They took my fish away. Yeah. Slightly peeved. But at least now we can get more fish and get an automatic feeder. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about my fish dying. I managed to get them all the way through Mass Effect 2. And the DLC. Dude, they left this. Ah! Every single person who died when the original Normandy blew up. And everybody else. Wait, where is, where is Caden? Okay, okay. Abhishek Pakti, Alexei Dubyansky, Carlon Tux, Charles Presley, Presley, Harvey J. Gladstone, Helen M. Lowe, Caden Alenko, Marcus Greco, Orden Laflamme, Richard L. Jenkins, Rosamond 
Is that Draven? Draven. Roseman Draven, Talitha Draven. Draven! League of Draven! Addison Chase, Amina Waberry, Caroline Granado, Jermaine Barrett, Hector Emerson, Jameen Bakari, Mandira Raman, Raman, Raman! Monica, oh god, Negulesco? Raymond Tanaka, Robert Fl Filawa, Silas Crosby. That's all the people who've died. Not one more. We are going to put at least a couple more names on there, but... We're going to do this all for them. For all of the people who died on the Normandy. Because of the goddamn collectors. And because I blew up Caden. Hey, look! It's all of the stuff for the Shadow Broker. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone. <laughs> Info Drone. <laughs> if you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. She reprogrammed him. <laughs> <analyzes> information packages. <laughs> He's less if annoying. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. Cool. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. She... <laughs> so much better at uh, programming that than the other it Shadow Broker than ideal. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers Ooh. exist. She but is... I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. Ha! <laughs> Becoming the big info brokers turned you into a real cynic, Liara. Yeah, I know, right? I like it. <laughs> I think. I think. Aw, that's cute. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we oh, understand Shadow precisely Broker. what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Agreed. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. So People let's not! Only starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. There's hope! There's still a lot of people alive down there. I have to remember that. You will. It's the war we warned everyone about for years. And nobody listened! And if I know you, Shepard, you'll make them proud. Like, seriously, flip table! Nobody listened to me! Okay. You got anything to talk about, Lyra? Hello again, Shepard. Hi. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. <laughs> We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that Your high tech. face is a giant bloom effect right during now. graduate school. I would have killed for it. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. Cool! Hopefully, it, it, it's a VI, not an AI, right? It's a VI. It's a VI. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship, impressive, but it was never meant to be spaceworthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. So you happened? had to get the hell out! I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? And also, where's Farron? What kind of distraction? Sending the ah, ship exploding to into a Cerberus are. cruiser. Oh! I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. That's awesome. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? What is wrong with her the elusive face? man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. This is my new favorite it's glitch. It's taking a while to reestablish <laughs> contact. This is my new favorite glitch. <laughs> so where is Ferron if you two escaped? <laughs> he convinced me he was recovered enough to work, 
and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. Yeah, probably. Info drone. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against no, the Reapers. No, you're doing it! The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. It's like the they can no longer look at each other. The older barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. Aha! We'll talk Bye. later, Liara. Of course. Bye, Lee. Lee, 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 Lee. What do you got here? This terminal contains non-essential correspondence Itchy. from your allied forces. Dr. Cool. Sony has granted you access. That's nice. Okay. Please enjoy your day. Now let's go see the very, very amazing and absolutely awesome Chakwas. Chakwas, Chakwas, Chakwas. Hi, Chakwas. How you doing? Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels kind of. Like home. Welcome Aww. back. Thank you. Chocolate. Let's waste no time, if I may. I'd like to examine you. Why? Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. Yeah, you don't say. Every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Yes, a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Scalpel? Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. <laughs> I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. That's good. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. So, That's be it. Paragon. You're the picture of health. I am the most Paragon Paragon that ever Paragoned. How's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Thanks? Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. <laughs> we took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. And stole it! <laughs> we used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. The illusion that must be pissed. Oh, no. I don't regret it one bit. Damn straight. You never mentioned any of your family. My head still hurts. None oh. to speak of, really. Uh. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. So she never had kids? I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. Damn straight, Chuck See you around, Doctor. Love Take your care, face. Shepherd. Your face, it is a thing that I love. Okay, we're gonna get the free reassign powers thing because I don't like what the game gives me every single time it starts this game. Okay, where is it? There should be an ability. There we go. Reset my powers. You can reset each person's powers once for free. I always do it for shepherds because it keeps making me have things I don't want. Okay, that one. That one. That one. Um, force and damage, power duration. I usually choose this one. Um, I just got my powers. Weak capacity, that's not really useful, but the damage is. Squad my powers, but that doesn't help me. Does it? Does that help me? Ah, eh, taking that one. Might as well. You start speed of those powers by 40% for 30 seconds when deadening biotic combos. This one. And now we want our singularity, just like always, because singularity is OP. Gimme. Um. Okay, singularity is a little bit 30%. Yes, please. And uh, yes. And. Yes. And then we also want warp because warp is also OP as hell. Oops. Click. Damage. Force damage and radius of combo detonations. No. Just damage. 
Increase damage and duration. Increase weapon damage. Nope. That one. <laughs> Increase damage taken by bears by 50%. Weaken armor targets by additional 25. Recharge speed isn't something I'm really too worried about because I usually have epically fast recharge speed anyway. So, and then next, let's get... Slam. No. Reconnate a cousin of Russian fly. Yes, let's get this one. One. Two. This one. And. That one. 1,935 newtons of force. So that'll make you all of the dead. Okay, we are about at the end of this video, guys. My name is Miss Girl Tanager, and I have been playing some Mass Effect 3. I'll see you all. Oh, lucky who it is in the next video.